Hey everyone, welcome to Ang Mind. Hi, hello, how are you? It's all boring, right? So, let's change our vocabulary. Learn to speak English in fluent manner and use the alternative expression instead of these boring phrases. Today, we will learn advanced English vocabulary and alternative expressions in the play some some common words that we use in casual English conversation and how to have fluent daily English conversation as well as improve your English vocabulary. Let's get going. The most common words we use in our daily conversation is How are you? I am fine. It's okay. Very nice. I think. Number one is How are you? How are you tend to sound old fashioned and almost as if you are not looking for an answer. Instead, you can say, how's it going? It's very popular now. Or, how you been? Or, how have you been? This is warm and friendly. And, or, how's everything? Or, how are things? Or even, how you are things going? Where you are asking not only about the person, but an overall life update. Or you can also try, so how are you doing? Here R is silent or what's going on? If you have not seen them in a while, this is slightly more American or what's new or what's new with you or what's up? This is a super, super casual or hey, what's up? It's more casual and friendly. Even more important than the word is that you sound happy to meet the other person and interested in what they have been up to. Your sincerity will reflect in the tone of your voice, no matter what the words you pick. The second term is I'm fine or I'm fine, thank you. It's overused. So let's see what we can say instead. First one is, I am doing well or I am doing well, thank you or I am doing good. How about you? Or we will never say, I am doing good, it's either I am doing well or I am good or things are good or everything is good, depending on what they ask. Instead of all these, we can also try for not bad or nothing much. So, how you have been? Not bad, what's going on? Nothing much. Or pretty good. This is a very popular American term. Or no complaints. Or as good as can be. This one is, I say, especially during lockdown or any situation, it suits well. As good as can be. A lot of this depend on the intonation. Example, you can say no complaints. The third one is it's okay. This must be the most commonly used phrase and sometimes it's just shortened to K. But let's see how we can we can sound more advanced in our vocabulary or just more fun by saying these um, other things instead of okay. But the first one is I I. In the Navy, they would say I I captain. It's like saying okay okay. It's a bit casual but it's fun. Or you, you can use roser that, copy that, I understand or done. Or okay dokey. It's friendly and affectionate. To make something lighthearted, uh, like let's watch a movie, you can say okay dokey. Or you can also try for this also. So sure, go ahead by all means and I have no problem with that you are suggesting or absolutely let's go ahead with the plan you can also use these uh, words also or even more words you can try that is uh, right to it's a cheerful way to saying I agree with you or uh, it's a very bit um, very British expression and you can also use this also that is all righty is also informal it's like all right but more fun all righty let's go then or you can use 
sounds good or sounds good to me it can be used if you want to sound more formal the fourth one is very nice we often use uh, this word like how's this very nice how's that nice it's not so nice to keep saying this all the time let's learn four interesting phrases that will more impactful the first one is amazing fantastic that's amazing or you are amazing the meal was fantastic or amazing you can the word use these word like this or incredible unbelievable example you can use this to comment on someone speak on social media what an incredible shot this is like this you can these words and other word is phenomenal you can tell your friends that ang mind is a phenomenal channel or a must see if you are talking about any tv show or movie and want to say that it was a outstanding a super terrific you can just say it's a must see or you can also use lovely like oh lovely how lovely or this is very um, but this is very british this is fairly universal and can be used in pretty much at any situation the fifth one is i think i think that we need some new words to replace the boring i think the first one is in all honesty you for example in all honesty that was rude or in my opinion or in my view this is more formal or if you ask me uh, for example if you ask me this is what i would say or is it seem to me or uh, to me uh, for example to me this color looks better than the other color okay uh, other word is i believe uh, or i recon this is british but more formal and last one is i would say uh, for example i would say the party was very well organized this is all about some inter interesting alternative expression thank you for watching i hope en you enjoyed this video so please like share and subscribe to my channel i will come back with another interesting topic till then take care and bye bye